Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how do we break down a multisyllabic word or a word that has more than one syllable into its syllable parts. So I'm going to actually start by taking a word that I have here. This is a compound word. Compound word are two words that are put together and they make one word. This is the word sunset. And I'm going to show you how we label it and then how we split it up into its syllable parts. Now, as I do this, it may not be perfect because I'm going to drag and drop a lot of different things onto the screen. And it might be something that happens to you when you're working the first time. So just be patient with it because it's a new skill for us. So here I have the word sunset. So whenever I have a word with more than one syllable, you guys actually learned in the video that if you were to put your hand under your chin and say sunset, the time that your chin drops, how many times it drops and touches your hand, tells you how many syllables that it is. So we already know that sunset is two syllables, but we need to figure out where and where we break it up, okay? So here's sunset, and I'm gonna start first by labeling the vowels. So I see the vowel U here, and I see the vowel E here. So I'm gonna go to step one where it says drag and drop to the vowels. So I have labeled my vowels. The next thing I'm going to do is drag and drop a bridge. So in between my two vowels, I'm going to extend a line and I'm going to make a bridge. If you're like me, you want everything to line up, so you probably will make your bridge smaller. So now that I've drawn the bridge in between the two vowels, I'm only concerned with what is in between the two vowels. I'm not really worried about this letter right here, this consonant, or this consonant here. I only want to deal with the vowels and what's in between it. So if we're in school, normally what I would do is I would say it's, we would make a little uh, like stick person and we would put the person on the bridge. So I'm going to try to put person here, and it's little Miss Vega here. And Miss Vega was on the bridge and she was looking up. She's looking up at the letters in between the two vowels, and we label those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop under the consonant. So anything in between the two vowels on the bridge, we label. So right there I see I have the consonant N, so I'm gonna label it. And I also see that I have another consonant here, S. Okay. Awesome. So I've labeled my vowels, I've drawn my bridge, and I've done the two consonants, okay? The next thing I need to do is drag and drop the syllable wall between them. So the syllable wall is actually here, okay? So I have sunset. So this is a vowel consonant, consonant vowel pattern. It's our first pattern. So I drop it in between the two patterns. Okay, so I have sun and set. Now I need to decide if it's an opened or closed syllable. So here is sun. I see the vowel that's in here is U, and I see that it is closed off, meaning it couldn't run away, it's blocked in, and this is a closed syllable. So down here, CL is going to be our code for closed. I'm gonna try to drag it and I'm gonna label that the syllable is closed. This tells me that this U is short, so it's gonna make the uh sound. So like in sun, s, uh, mm, sun, okay, it's short. And then here I have the word set, okay? I see this vowel here, I see the T next to it. I now know that this is also a closed syllable, so this E will be short and it will make the eh sound. Sun set. So I have two closed syllable words in this one word, sunset. Now, what's also going to look new to you 
are these codes down here. So CL is gonna stand for closed. O is going to be for open. Some of these we have not done yet, so we won't use them yet. ME is for a different syllable pattern called magic E or silent E. VT, VT will be for vowel teams. BR is for what we call bossy R. And then we also have constant LE. And we also have what we call a, a diphthong. For right now, we're only going to worry about our closed and our open syllables for this pattern. All right? I want to try one more. Actually, we're going to try one more together. So in a minute, you'll be on this slide, and we have the word upset. Together, we will practice. We will drag and drop our vowels, drop our bridge, drag our consonants, put our syllable wall up, and label if they're open and closed syllables. <laughs> 